Studnik Aquatics here. It is water test Sunday and every Sunday I do water test for my 75 gallon soft coral reef tank. And got her all set up here. Um, I might be old school but I just keep track, track of stuff on a bar graph. Um, this I can track my pH, ammonia, nitrites, nitrates. Um, phosphates, calcium, carbonate, hardness, and magnesium. That way I can see where I'm at. And I just use the API test kits. I know a lot of people don't like them, but you know, this is a soft coral tank, so we're fine. And I do go ahead and use those tests and check them here. And then I also have built this little thing, so I put my tubes in there. Uh, this is the water to be tested. And I do have the uh, Aqua Forest uh, magnesium test kit over there. And then I do follow the Red Sea uh, system and you can actually go on their site and have a recipe printed up and this basically tells you what your all your parameters should be, how much of everything to, to mix or how often to do a water change, how much and how much to dose. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm following that and I did buy the 2.2 pound of, of powder and I mixed it up so um, and then I just took the label off, put them on these jars, and this has calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Even though it is a soft coral tank, I'm also dosing magnesium and, and calcium. Um, I haven't had to put any magnesium in for the last three weeks, so everything's looking really good there. And the calcium is down to putting in very little calcium. And the alkalinity, you do go through quite a bit of alkalinity. So the other thing that I do dose is I do do the iodine. Um, that way it helps with your shrimp and stuff in order to shed and I do do the coral nutrition So anyway, that's what I'm doing now and I'm going to go ahead and test everything up and then I will um, Use this measuring cup and and you can go by the chart On here that tells exactly how much to add depending on what your target amount is and So yeah, it is water test Sunday and I'm going to test everything I know that you don't have to test ammonia nitrates and nitrates every week, but I do anyway so that way I know where everything is at. So this is Studnik Aquatics. Thanks for watching.